What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube and today we have a 2019 Camaro 1SS. This is a 1LE guys and that's the car we are reviewing today. I'm gonna quickly tell you guys about my style of reviewing cars. I'm a little bit different from everyone else. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys all around the car as if you are here looking at it. My point of view of what I'm seeing, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. We're gonna go for a drive. We're gonna talk about numbers, you know, horsepower, quarter mile times, things like that. And that's pretty much the way I do the reviews. So with that being said, let's get started with the review. All right, guys, so here is the Camaro. So this is obviously a lot different from the year before. This is a 19. That's the year they changed them up a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys a few differences. Obviously, the front looks a lot different. So you got the headlights and the LEDs goes like this and like this. Kind of looks like eyebrow, but an upside down eyebrow. Also, you have these. It is a lot more aggressive, honestly. And... Look at all this. You got the Chevy symbol right here, and air goes right through there. Basically, air goes through everything. Everything is pretty much a grill except this plastic part right here. But even through the Chevy, the air could go right through the SS right here. Also, the lights come all the way here, by the way. You can't see them until you go down, but uh, yeah, they go all around. And also, it has this front lip. Let me show you guys. It's plastic, not carbon fiber, so it goes all the way to this side it looks really really good i mean i'm actually impressed you know when they first came out with the regular ss's those are pretty ugly but the one ss which is like the one le looks a lot nicer i mean look how aggressive it is look at all these body lines look at this look at that it just makes it so aggressive it also has the satin black wrapped hood with the vents right here these are functional vents as well i'm gonna show you guys once i pop the hood all right there it is. You got the V8. It's a 6.2 liter V8. And here it is. You got your air box. Nothing really crazy. Um, I want to know if it's functional. Yeah. So this air box goes through here. I'm guessing it's going through here or here. But you could definitely tell it's going to somewhere as you can see it right there. So that's a cool option that they've got. Let's close the hood. So as we move to the side of the car, we got these 20 inch five spoke wheels. These are the one LE wheels. Well, the one SS wheels. The fronts are 285, 3020s. They are the Eagle F1 uh, Supercar 3 tires. They're pretty good tires. I'm pretty sure they're focused on track. So these would be some good track tires. Also comes with the six piston Brembo brakes and it also says 1LE on them. You also got the Camaro right here with the red, white, and blue right there on the side. And also the mirrors are wrapped in satin black as well. It looks really, really good. It's a nice touch with the hood as well. As you can see, they go hand in hand. So the rear wheel and tire setup is a 305-3020, um, same tires as the front. It's just that these are 305s, a little wider, of course, and they actually look pretty good. They stick out a little bit. So now let's move all the way to the back of the car. Here are the taillights. So these are the new taillights for the 2019 models. As you can see, it's like an oval, and then there's a little thing that goes right in between. Another one here. And it goes right in between. Um, what do you guys think of these? I'm not sure how I feel about them. I don't hate them, but I don't love them. And here are the taillights from another angle. What do you guys think? I'm kind of digging them. The more I look at them, the more they kind of uh, look good to me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys think of the new Camaro taillights. And also it says SS right here. Kind of different from most cars. Most cars never put the symbol all the way down at the bumper they usually would put it here here but chevy went and put it all the way down here another cool thing is 
this. You see this? They've put this little line in the bumper and it goes all the way here and it just makes it a little bit more aggressive. You know, it's not too easy to notice, but when you notice it, you could definitely tell right there. It makes it look a lot more aggressive of a car. You also have two exhaust tips on each side. I'll turn the car on for you guys so you guys could hear it. So this is the spoiler that comes standard on these. Nothing fancy honestly, I wish it was a little bit more fancy but it's just a regular spoiler, nothing too crazy, goes from side to side and also continues on the side of the car so it doesn't just stop at the trunk, that's pretty cool. i never seen a spoiler that continues all the way here, usually they end at the trunk but this is a bit different. So let's step to the inside of the car, so when you open it. You got plastic here, so it's not leather. Plastic all over here, and then you get here, you got a little bit of leather with white stitching. You got your controls right here. You open your trunk right here, your speakers, it says Camaro and plastic right there. And then also you got these Recaro seats. Leather with Alcantara, and white stitching also says Recaro right here. And now let's move inside here. So, we got an Alcantara steering wheel all around with the flat bottom. Also, you got these vents right here which look like they're out of an airplane. So, that's pretty cool. Let's close the door right here. More vents right here. You got your entertainment system right here. Manual. It is a six-speed manual, ladies and gentlemen. So, this car only comes in manual. Here, you got your different modes right here. Your parking brake is actually right here so it's a bit different and now uh, let's turn on the car real quick so of course put on the clutch let me show you guys through this real quick you got your audio let's go back now phone Wi-Fi hotspot user setting Apple CarPlay Android Auto which is exactly like CarPlay, you got your apps, you got your PDR, they also got your climate, my Chevy OnStar, let's go back here real quick, let's go through the apps, it has the different apps you could get and then it has my apps, so you have 1.2 gigabyte free, you're using 183, so you could obviously download some more, has the 4G LTE right there, the temperatures, it also has the heads up display, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It also has the 200 on the dash. Let's see what it revs up up to. About 5,000. So it has these different modes. Let me show you guys real quick. You got snow, you got track, sport, and tour. Tour is what tones everything down, ladies and gentlemen. And then here you got your traction off, traction on, and I'm controlling all this with these buttons for the mode right here and for the traction on and off right there. One thing I'd like to let you guys know before buying a Camaro is I hope you guys are not planning on bringing more than two people in this car. That means driver, passenger, that's it. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. The rear seats don't exist at all. Who could fit back there? I don't know. Look at that. Can anyone fit back there? That person's sitting quite comfortably. But nobody can fit back here at all. These are useless as ever. As ever. They are so useless. So that's what I mean when I say you should just plan on having you and your girlfriend. Otherwise, all your other side chicks 
can't fit back there. So I pretty much covered the entire car. And before we go out for a drive, one thing I like to do on this channel when I'm doing these reviews is show the window sticker. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like and all the options that it has and how much this Camaro costs. All right guys, here we got the window sticker. So as you can see, it says 2019 Camaro 1SS Coupe. Exterior color is red hot, interior jet black engine, 6.2 liter v8 six speed manual transmission so standard equipment nothing crazy it starts out it starts out at 37 then it has the 1le track performance package which is 7000 and that comes with the wheels the magnetic ride so this has the magnetic ride control which is awesome for driving around and also track you know it's a track oriented car also has the exhaust, dual exhaust, uh, Brembo brakes, heads up display, hood wrap, front splitter, all these other cool stuff. That all comes with the 1LE track performance package, which is $7,000. That's a lot right there. Also, if you want the performance data and video recorder, which is the PDR, that's $1,300. Wheel locks and cargo net, that's $95, $65. And the total options is $8,000. $460 so as you can tell most of the options come from this package the one le package and that's the seven thousand dollar one total price is just over forty six thousand but if you guys want to go and grab it now it's not forty six it's not forty two if you have the GM employee discount you will have it for forty thousand and eight hundred fifty five dollars so go and get it forty thousand dollars for this car I think that's worth it, honestly. Like, what could you get like this for $40,000? I don't know. I can't think of anything else better to get. Uh, SS, 1LE, track-oriented car. Pretty awesome. I think uh, this price is uh, actually pretty good for this car. And now, we're going to take this bad boy for a drive and see how it rides. All right, guys. And now, we're going to take this bad boy for a drive and see how it drives. And we're going to talk about all the numbers, the 0 to 60 times, the quarter mile times, all the things you guys care about. Let's put our seatbelt on and uh, turn this thing on and get going. Ooh, it sounds so good. Woo! This thing is so awesome. I haven't driven many manual cars, but I feel like this is one of the easiest manual cars to drive. I'm not the most experienced manual driver, as you guys can know. Some of you guys thought I could never even drive a manual car, but I'm not the best manual driver car, but this thing is just so easy to drive. I mean, if I never driven a manual car before, I definitely want to learn on this. Man, it's so awesome. This car is making 455 horsepower. Um, who its competitors are is a Mustang GT, a Scat Pack, and when I say competitors, I don't really mean they're actually competing with this car, besides the Mustang. Oh, you know, the Mustang has 460 horsepower. The Scat Pack has 485, but that thing weighs about 4,500 pounds, so we're not gonna count that as being a competitor. But what it really competes with is a BMW M2. I think it's the perfect comparison for this car, and if you guys wanna go online, they do a lot of comparisons with those two cars, and that's a pretty awesome car to compare this to, considering this is a $40,000 car, and that has to be over 50, I think $60,000. I may be wrong when it comes to that. This car is definitely cheaper out of the two. And now let me give you guys the numbers that you guys have been waiting for. This car does a zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds, the quarter mile time in 12 three seconds so those are pretty impressive times but you know how chevy is chevy isn't like dodge they're not going to tell you this car can do 965 and then it would take years to get that or you need to be the best driver ever to get that no chevy likes to give you guys realistic numbers but this car is definitely faster if you can really drive it um the reasons why the numbers are like that is because this is a manual you can't forget this is a manual car the regular ones with the 10th speed is obviously a lot faster but unfortunately they don't make a 1le 
in auto. So the six-speed manual is the only trans that comes with the 1LE. So with that being said, this car is so awesome. It's pretty quick. Manual is awesome. No complaints in that. Um, magnetic ride makes it ride so smooth, uh, so awesome. Even though it's a track-oriented car, it still doesn't feel like it. Like the Z01-1LE doesn't have the best ride because it just drives so aggressively because of the suspension. You know, it's a track car. But this, it's awesome. I have no complaints in it at all besides that it's very small in the back. But again, who gives a about that? You're not buying a sports car like this to, you know, bring a bunch of little kids with you or your family. You know, I know you'd want to do that, but you can't do that in this car, unfortunately. All right, guys, and that brings us to the end of the review. And also, shout out to Hishi from Buff Wheeling for making this review possible. If you guys need any Chevy products, this guy is the best in the business. And I'm not just saying that. He's actually top 10 in the country in salesmen. He's an awesome salesman, works for the number one dealership in the country. They move the most cars out of everyone in the country. So make sure you check him out. I will leave his info in the description. If you guys want a ZR1, if you guys want a Camaro, anything you guys want, hit him up. He is the man when it comes to that. So easy to deal with and just such an awesome person. So make sure you guys check him out. And with that being said, this video has come to an end. So if you guys like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family. You could also follow my social media. My Instagram is toxic SRT and my Snapchat is toxic SRT. And now it's time to let you guys go. Peace out. Whoop.